Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. So today's video is going to be a continuation of a series where I'll be swatching out the entire Schmincke Horodam range. Well, it's the entire range minus the new super granulating paints. So in the previous video was the yellows and oranges and this one is going to be all the reds. So first up we have permanent red. Uh, this is a two pigment mix of PR242 and PO62. Yeah, it looks like a really nice orange red to me. Um, it reminds me a lot of the cadmium red lights that I like to use. Yeah, it's actually really nice. And uh, next we have Cadmium Red Light. And this one's made from PR108. Yeah, this is a great Cadmium Red Light, I think. Um, yeah, but then pretty much all Cadmium Reds that I try are good. Next we have Geranium Red, and this one's made from PR242. Yeah, this one's really vibrant, I like this. I'm quite impressed with um, a few of the PR242s I've tried recently. It's not a pigment I use very often. Next we have Vermilion, and it's made from PR255. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, kind of similar to the Cad Red Light and Permanent Red in my opinion. Uh, next we have Vermilion Light, and this one is PR188. I'm not sure if I ever tried this pigment before. Uh, the colour itself, yeah, it's okay. Uh, it kind of has more of a, like a coral undertone, whereas the Vermilion itself has, you know, more of an orange undertone. And next we have Scarlet Red, and this one's PR254. Hmm, this one looks really nice. It's, yeah, a lot more vibrant and saturated, and you can also see it flows on the wet paper. And the final paint on this top row is Cadmium Red Middle. And it's another PR108. Yeah, it's a very nice cadmium. I do like a cadmium red middle. Uh, this one has quite a orange undertone. And I think I can see some granulation going on as well. Though that might disappear by the time it's dry. And next we have quinacridone red light. And this one's PR207. I'm pretty sure that I've never tried this pigment before. Um, it looks pretty nice, but I'm not really a huge fan of quinacridone reds. I know a lot of people like them, but for some reason they just don't really do anything for me. Uh, next up is Transparent Red Deep, and it's made from PR144. So this is another new pigment for me. 
yeah, looks really good. It's quite nicely saturated. Um, I think I prefer it to the quinacridone red before it. And next up is Cadmium Red Deep, and it's another PR108. Yes, another very nice cadmium. I can never decide if I like the deep more than the middle. Um, yeah, we'll have to wait until it's dry to be able to tell. And next we have Perylene Maroon, PR179. I think the only other version I've tried of this pigment is from Holbein. And yeah, I really do like that paint. Um, yeah, I'd say this, this one is very nice, but I don't think it's quite as nice as the Holbein. I guess I'd have to paint them side by side to really be able to compare them though. And uh, next we have Perylene Dark Red, which is PR178. So I think this is another new pigment to me. I don't think I've tried a PR178 before. Yeah, it's quite nice. Again, I'd say I prefer it to the Quinn Red Light, but yeah, I'm not sure how useful it would be to me. And next up is Alizarin Crimson, which is PR831. So this is a pigment that quite a few people know about. Um, as beautiful as it is, it is fugitive and it's going to fade over time when exposed to sunlight. I mean, that might not be a problem for people who only paint in sketchbooks or if you scan your work and reproduce it digitally, but if you do plan to hang it on the wall or sell it, then it's probably best avoided. Uh, next is Ruby Red Deep and it's PR264. So this Ruby Red Deep's been recommended to me by a few people. Um, yeah, I can see why. It's a beautiful deep red. Yeah, I really like it. Uh, next up is Madder Lake Deep, and it's made from PR831 and PR177. Yeah, it's a lovely colour, but it contains PR83, so... Everything I said about the Alizarin Crimson paint also applies to this one. Uh, next we have Madda Red Dark, and it's a mix of PV19 and PR179. I guess this is a more light fast version of the previous paint. Yeah, it looks okay, but it's nothing particularly special in my opinion. Uh, next we have Bordeaux and it's made from PR187. So yeah, I've never tried this paint before, but for some reason I was expecting it to kind of be like a, you know, wine red color or something. Yeah, it's actually very, very nice paint. Uh, next we have Rose Madder, and it's made from PR831 and PR484. So PR48 is not a pigment I've come across before, but after a quick Google search, it seems that it is a fugitive pigment, just like the PR83 it's mixed with here. Yes, it's kind of a very weak tinting rose color. Um, I don't think 
yeah, I can't get it any darker in mass tone than this. Uh, to be honest, I don't much like this paint, but I guess it could come in useful for botanicals though. That is as long as you don't expose your work to sunlight. And next up is Permanent Carmine, made from PV19. So this is the Schmincke Red I'm most familiar with. I've had a half pan of it for quite a while now. And yeah, it's a, it's a very good paint. Um, probably be my choice of these cool reds, I think. And then finally, we've got Ruby Red, which is also PV19. Wow, this one's really bright. I wasn't expecting that. Um, it's almost, almost magenta-like, I guess. Hmm, now I'm starting to think I might like this one more than the carmine. Okay, so that's all of them swatched out, and here they are when completely dry. Yeah, I'd say it's a very good selection of reds. Uh, there are a few colours that are kind of similar to each other. Um, also a few that are not particularly light fast. But yeah, I'm sure there's enough options to satisfy most people. Um, apart from the Rose Madder, yeah, they were all really, really nice to paint out. I do like how their Cad Red Deep and Cad Red Middle have some granulation going on. It does, it looks really nice. So do you have any favorites here? Um, I think my choices would probably be the Cad Red Light, Transparent Red Deep, Cad Red Deep, or maybe Perilene Maroon. Um, Plus, I think the Bordeaux and Ruby Red are really nice as well. Though saying that, I rarely use non-Earth Reds in my palette, so I'd probably just go with the Transparent Red Deep and that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye-bye.